So you want to play your favorite Xbox games on your Nvidia Shield Pro or really any other Android device. Now there's no official Android TV version of this application but you can actually sideload it and still enjoy all of the games in the cloud library. So let me press the start button and here we are playing Forza Horizon through Xbox Game Pass on my Nvidia Shield and yeah it's playing uh, really good. Graphics look uh, amazing, sounds really good. Now in terms of input lag there will always be some when you're doing any kind of cloud-based gaming or game streaming but uh, it's really not too bad at all and it's certainly not making the game unplayable for me. In this video today let me show you how you can also get the Xbox Game Pass application onto your Nvidia Shield and start enjoying all of these amazing Xbox games through cloud streaming. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin this process on your Nvidia Shield, if you go over to Downloader, and inside Downloader, let's go to my website by typing in a short code, which is just 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go. Give that a second, and that'll take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines. Scroll down and click on Tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get the new Xbox Game Pass application working on our Android TV device. So let's open that up. Here we are, let's scroll down. Now, of course, to actually play these games, you do have to have a subscription with Xbox Game Pass um, Ultimate, but the great thing is you can actually sign up for just $1 a month for the first three months. So really, I mean, three months is more than enough time for you to try out the service, see if it works for your device, see if your internet bandwidth is enough to be able to stream games like this. So at that price point, I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. Let's scroll down and underneath all of that, we'll have a single link for the application we need, which is the Xbox Game Pass. And this application was updated a few days ago. So let's click on that and click on the green download button. And this will then download the application directly onto your device. And we can see it's about 45 meg in size. And click on install. Once that's done, let's now press the home key. Now because this application is not officially supported on Android TV, you won't see the tile for it here. And even if you go to add application, you won't see in the list. Now for you to open it up, you can use another application called the Sideload Launcher, which is freely available from the Google Play Store, which is this thing here. So this is the Sideload Launcher. Let me now open that up. And right at the bottom, we should have the new Xbox game application, which is this one here. So let's open that up. Now I've tested this application, both with the standard Nvidia game controller, but also the Xbox One game controller as well. And both of them worked absolutely fine. Okay, so let me now press down on the remote a few times. Let me now sign in. Okay, that's me now signed in. Uh, let's click on Let's Go. And here we are, guys. So these are now all of the cloud-based games I can enjoy from my Android device. Lots of great games in here. So racing games, uh, FPS games, classic games. Uh, here's the most popular games. You've got Forza Horizon, you've got Rainbow Siege, you've got Destiny. So let's start the gaming adventure with some Halo. Now that music just brings back so many memories from the classic uh, Xbox days. And here we are playing some classic Halo on my Nvidia Shield. Uh, looks amazing. Let's see if we can find some uh, bad guys to shoot. But graphically it looks uh, really nice, really smooth. Not really noticing any uh, jittering uh, or compression. Uh, certainly not in this game anyway. All right, here we go, some bad guys. But that's working really good, guys. Uh, really enjoyable, playing really smoothly. Let's say I want to play something else. How do I now go out of this and play something else? Well, I can just press the back button on the remote. Click on quit game. Uh, click on back again. 
and I'm back to the Xbox uh, game cloud library where I can now choose something else to play. Okay, let's try some Forza Horizon again. Uh, this game is actually really enjoyable, looks really good. Uh, it's very easy to pick up and play and it has really good uh, game progression as well. Uh, again, we can see performance wise, it's performing fine. Occasionally you will see some dips um, in the graphics, but again, nothing too, uh, nothing too bad and certainly nothing uh, to actually stop you enjoying the game. Um, well, let's see if I can do some drifting. Let's try drifting here. So a bit of a break and straight into the wall. <laughs> all right, so, all right, look at that. Took over some guys. Actually, I think this is my favorite view. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you leave the comment below, hashtag gaming, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Okay, let's try something else. So for me to do that, let me press the back on the remote and click on quit. Okay, let's try some Killer Instinct. That's a big sword, okay. <laughs> Oh, nice super move there. Now to the untrained eye, it may just look like I'm just smashing any random button and all these moves are coming out. And um, actually that's true. Um, <laughs> it looks pretty good though. All right, let's see if I can do a fireball to that. Take that. So this game looks really good. Occasionally you do see some uh, pixelation or some slight compression in the graphics, but overall it looks uh, really nice. That's almost a perfect. Okay guys, so wrapping this up, uh, closing thoughts on Xbox Game Pass on the Nvidia Shield. Um, well, firstly in terms of uh, pricing, you can actually sign up to Xbox uh, Ultimate for one pound uh, a month or one dollar a month for the first three months. So I think that's a a great price just to evaluate this and see um, you know do you like it does it work properly on your system is your internet at home uh, fast enough to be able to stream these kind of games and I personally do think that game streaming is the future um, it's still in its you know fairly infancy at the moment because um, yes there's still some input lag there's still some connectivity issues but as the technology improves as the infrastructure improves it's only going to get better and better guys and just like the way um, Netflix revolutionized how we consume our movies and our you know video based content I really do believe that cloud based game streaming will revolutionize how we play games so that's pretty much it for this video guys many thanks for watching and just to confirm I did try this both on my 4k fire stick and also my second generation fire tv cube and Although it does work, you will see some errors that the Google Play services are not available, but it doesn't stop any of the games loading. But what does stop the games loading is just the performance. So I think on those devices, especially on the 4K Fire Stick, it really just doesn't have enough power to be able to stream content like this. Um, I had better luck on the second generation Fire TV queue, but it was nothing like, you know, mega playable, nothing like what we can see now on this device. So you can still try out, but I don't think the experience is going to be uh, enjoyable. So again, guys, really appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.